Hi folks, welcome to Black Bears Detail and YouTube channel. I'm Ross, shortly you'll see Josh, and on this vlog we're going to talk over exactly what is included in our new car ceramic package. And for this we're going to be using this brand spanking new AMG A45S, which is in for said ceramic package. So, I'm going to talk through exactly the process, have a wee look at the car before we start our work on it, look at the car after it's finished and uh, yeah we shall see the difference give you some idea of the defects that will be present on a brand new car. Uh, the, the clarity is not too bad on it. Uh, there's kind of minor uh, wash marring marks, uh, which is generally completely normal. Uh, the couple of bird uh, poo etches on the side and on the back spoiler uh, Basically, the, the cars all been sat outside for quite a number of days, weeks, and or months on some occasions. And they do pick up quite a lot of defects. They sit in storage and those bird poos just sit on the car. Uh, there's also, on the, the top section there where the spoiler was, uh, there's buffer trailing on there. It looks like, kind of, when you shine the light over it, it's like a wavy light that appears. So these are kind of common defects. Uh, it's nothing drastic, it's nothing major, so the large majority of these we shall be able to sort with the, the single stage. Bird poo etching might need to go a wee bit further, uh, but we'll generally just do that if it's only one or two isolated little marks. So we're going to get cracked on, going to get the decon done on it. Unfortunately, it's June in Scotland, it can never depend on the weather. And the weather's decided it doesn't want to play ball today and it's absolutely chucking it down. The new camera is not waterproof. So we'll set up the camera just in the, the door pointing outwards and uh, we'll get the decon done and then uh, we'll get it inside and we'll get started on the polishing and prep work. Okay folks, so now we've got the 45S outside and it's ready to get deconed. This generally takes between an hour and a half to two hours, depending on the size of the car. It consists of a pre-wash, we rinse that down, we then snow foam the car, go over all the, the sills, all the wee intricate areas with the detailing brush, rinse off the snow foam, uh, we then foam it again with shampoo and then give the car a wash over. It doesn't get what would be a safe wash uh, on this uh, kind of package because it's getting a machine correction on it anyway uh, and there's nothing that would be inflicted on the paintwork when it's getting washed uh, that wouldn't be getting removed through the machine correction if that makes sense. It doesn't make sense spending the time doing a safe wash on it when we're going to be doing a machine correction. Uh, afterwards we then you remove the tar and lastly iron fallout. Uh, again, generally, it just says it takes about an hour and a half to two hours to do. So I'm going to get cracked on, do that, uh, we'll do a wee time lapse, and then we'll get the car inside and we'll progress on to the next stage. <laughs>
Okay, next up, after the decon's been done, brought in and put on the ramp. Afterwards, if it's safe to do so, we will remove the wheels. So this has got fancy wheel covers. So get these on, get these off, and then that gives us access to the uh, wheel nuts and a locking wheel nut underneath. So we take wheels off and give them a deep clean. Okay, so when we're deep cleaning, we use the wheel cleaner and it's all clean over on the front face and the inside barrel. Obviously the inside barrel hasn't been touched on this one yet. And Josh is working on this wheel. So that will be cleaned up and then afterwards it will fall out remover to remove any embedded brake dust that's stuck in there. And we also mark each of the wheels, which side and which axle it came off. So that's passenger side front. So each of them go back onto the same uh, hub. If your car comes with factory painted calipers, we also ceramic coat these at the same time as we do the wheels. So whilst Josh is deep cleaning the wheels, I start panel wiping down the calipers. Well folks, we're now in day number two of this new car ceramic package. Yesterday we got the wheels coated, got them back on. Day number two is just a full day of polishing. Yesterday, whilst Josh was doing the wheels, I started on the lower sections of the car. So I'm going to show you what the polishing involves. It's a single stage correction we do with the new car ceramic package. So we need to work out the best polish and pad combo to cut through any of the wash marring that might be there, any light scratches, but also refine that back at the same time. So we're going to show you exactly what we do with the, the polish. We're going to work on one panel straight from the start, straight to finish, and it'll give you an idea exactly the polishing process. Okay, folks, so this is the, the section here I'm going to show you. Uh, we want to work on a section which is roughly six times the size of our polishing pad and basically just spread the polish on so we'll work to this body line so where that line is there, round the, the light, down there and along and we're looking for nice easy uh, steady passes with the polisher not too much uh, pressure down on it Again, we'll look to let the polish in the pad do the work, let that refine back any of the issues that are there, and then polish it back to a nice, beautifully glossy surface. So the first pass is just spreading over the polish. Getting it even on the panel we're looking to work on. up the speed on the polisher.
keep on doing that until the polish is refined back. And that's pretty much perfect there. If you rush it, go too quickly, it will dry out the polish too quickly and leave marring on the surface. If you don't do it enough, uh, if, you, if you keep the speed, uh, the uh, what that was there, but only pass by it once or twice, then the, the polish is what we call a self-diminishing polish. So when it starts, the little abrasives are bigger, so it cuts through uh, some of the deeper defects. And the more you work it, the more those abrasives break down into a finer polish and they start to refine it back. So uh, that's basically the goal. We do that over each section of the car, again working roughly the same uh, the the same kind of surface uh, working area, and then a wee wipe over. There's the benefit as well of working the polish the way it's meant to be worked, as it wipes off so much cleaner, so much easier, and leaves the surface looking exactly how we want it. So normally we would uh, panel wipe the full car at the end uh, just prior to coating but what we'll do is I'll panel wipe this section then I'll show you under the light uh, with the camera and it gives a true reflection of how the paint looks and uh, yeah, it just gives you an idea of how your paint is going to be after a single stage correction so I'll just quickly grab a panel wipe Okay, so get a panel wipe here. And then all this does would be to remove any polishing oils, anything that's on that panel. So that's sufficiently wiped. I'll grab the torch quickly. There you go. That's given a true reflection of how the paintwork is looking under direct light. Lovely, glossy, perfectly clear and all prepped for the coating. So that gives you an idea of single stage why the, the process takes so long because we're working on small panels or small sections working along each of the panels all the way around that full car. So today is just that, just working on the full car, making our full way around it and then afterwards uh, we'll move on to coatings. Well folks that's all the polishing work finished and after polishing we stick on the glass sealant. So it goes on all the glass surfaces and is left to cure for 10-15 minutes and then buffed off. After that we'll get the full car panel wiped and that's the end of day number two and then day number three we will do the coatings. At this point when the car's on the ground we also torque up all the lug nuts to factory specs and then any accessories to go back on the car are all fitted at this point. And then put together using the proper tools. This says 25 newton meters maximum torque. So it's then put onto a small torque wrench. And there we go, all topped up so there's no damage. Okay, folks, and lastly, we put the coating on the car. We made an executive decision to stay late today and so we could coat this and uh, it gives us an easier day on Friday which means we get finished a bit sharper. So what Josh is doing is 
applying the coating. So we've got a bottle of Crystal Serum Light here, which is what the customer expect. So we have a bottle here, dropper, and then a good helping of coating on the applicator. And then when Josh finishes buffing this section of the roof, we'll show you it being applied. And see all the glass sealant is all off as well. So the glass is all protected. Mm -hmm. Yep, so. We work on about two foot, two foot section. As you can see, it's plenty coating on the applicator. So this is Crystal Serum Light, so it gets applied slightly different from Crystal Serum Ultra. Uh, Ultra is slightly more difficult to use. It cures rapidly on the panel, so you need to put it on in smaller sections, whereas with this coating, it can apply it on bigger sections. So we work with the body lines. So as you can see, a line going down there. And then we'll split that panel and we'll always do an overlap of about four inches to make sure everything's covered. So that goes on, we'll leave it for about 20 30 seconds based on the heat today. So we're 19, pretty much 20 degrees, 40 percent humidity. So we can see that start to flash off, so that's that good to go. So brand new microfibers. Starting on the outside sections and then working in. Then buff that back with cloth number one and then with the second cloth. We then go well over the section which was coated. As you can see, Josh was going up even the section of the A pillar there to make sure the coating that's been spread with the first cloth is all picked up and all removed. And that leaves beautiful, glossy, protected finish. No high spots and been prepared properly. So we're going to crack on, we're going to do that basically all around the car. We normally work the top sections and then we lift the car up the ramp and then do the lower sections. So that is basically a rundown of our new car protection package. Uh, you, can you can choose which coating you would like on the car. Uh, give us a wee shout if there's any questions at all. Stay tuned because we'll put up some beauty pictures of this once it's all done and you can see it when it's all finished. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully that's helped some of you out if you're trying to decide which package to go for. Uh, and uh, yeah, cheery bye.